Hello and welcome to Cogmind, a robot-centered roguelike. Uh, this game has full mouse control. It's really nice, actually. Uh, but I find the keyboard mode faster, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I can use the mouse as a little pointer, though. This is me. This is us. We are Cogmind, a sentient robot thing in some kind of mining facility kind of thing. There's a bit of a story to it, which I haven't uncovered because it's very difficult. Uh, and it only came out recently, so there's only a handful of people who've beat the game, including the developers. So it's nice to know that it's uh, beatable. But yeah, this is us. Uh, this is our body, if you will. It's modular. We're basically just the core rolling around at the moment. It produces a little bit of energy, and we've got a little bit of matter uh, with which we can attach stuff. Uh, just rolling around, we're pretty fast, but our core exposure is uh, pretty bad. Like, we're very exposed right now. So, let's go around and pick up some parts. I like wheels. You have a bit of a choice in the beginning, but not much in the way of uh, character building kind of thing. Um, yeah, so we want the ion engine. We've got some armored wheels to start off with, which is quite nice. Uh, right, I need to regenerate my energy. So we've got two kinds of weapons. We've got meta weapons, like this assault rifle that uses this meta. And we've got energy weapons like this EM pulse gun which uses energy. The energy regenerates as long as you have sufficient generation to do so. Uh, but I prefer the um, matter weapons usually because uh, they're just a bit... it's a bit easier to manage. You don't have to manage your heat. You can see our temperature here is cool at the moment. Uh, and yeah, there's just less to manage. It's given me two energy weapons to start off with. But yeah, I wish that you did have a bit more of a choice. Whoops. Oh, let's turn keyboard mode back on. I wish you did have a bit more of a choice starting off. Uh, one armored wheel. That's a bit weird. Um, Alright, let's grab the small laser as well. I'll leave the rest. So, as you're playing, these little guys run around and do stuff. Like this excavator here is... Alright, let's press the right keys. Uh, he's drilling through the walls here. We can look at him. He's a tunneler. He's a medium size. He's neutral. He's rolling around on wheels, presumably. I feel like an excavator would probably suit tracks better. I don't know. Estimated temperature. Cool. He's a cool cat. Um, but yeah, I really love the tile set for this. It's also got an ASCII mode that you can turn on and off at will, if you like. But I like the tiles. I'll stick with them. Uh, I'm probably just going to kill a few of these guys. Sorry to say. But they have parts which I can use. And uh, I'm going to turn my speakers down. Let's cut out some echoes. Knock over some bottle caps. It's all good. So yeah, he's just dropped a light ion engine for me. And this guy's going to go... Om nom nom. He's going to pick it up. These recyclers, or scavengers or whatever, they are so annoying. So annoying. But... So long as I get to the loot before then... I mean, he's actually got that now. It's inside him. I could go kill him and get it out if I desperately wanted it. I don't know which one I just shot at there. Um, I think it was that one. But yeah, starting off your guns are incredibly inaccurate. And... whoops. Yeah, this is the second release of the game. And the first release, you can bump into things to attack them. Uh, and the first release just didn't warn you about attacking stuff like that. 
so you would just bump into stuff all the time, and it hurts. <laughs> it actually damages you. Alright, so... Another light iron engine. No, I want something good. Give me good pieces, please. Welcome back. I love you. Stop. Um... Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm using my meta to shoot this assault rifle. Uh, which I'm also going to need to attach things, and it's a very delicate balance. You can very easily run out of stuff. I'm not getting anything out of these guys. I normally just like to kill everything. What have I got there? Ah, an improved terrain scanner. There we go. That's what we're talking about. And a spare wheel. Might as well take that. So, install that. Turn it on. This will eventually reveal the terrain. Uh, which is quite nice. It can show me the way to go sometimes. Let's see. Can I get another utility thing out of these guys? What's that? Seismic analyzer. That will show me stuff moving around. Uh, whoops. Oh, get out of the way. Let me have this matter. So yeah, I think... Can I see anything moving? I think that's what it does. Um, let me see. Ah, there we go. Increases terrain scanning density by 20. Oh, okay. So it basically just improves the terrain scanner that I have. So I can go up or down the stairs, whichever. I, I think it's up. It's usually down in these kinds of games. Uh, so I can see a flight unit here. Those are quite nice. Mining laser. Oh. Uh, these yellow guys are certainly hostile. He's walking on those aluminium legs that we decided not to pick up. It makes him kind of slow. Um, he's got a particle gun. Okay. What about his friend? He has a small laser. So I think my guns are probably better than theirs. It looks like a bit of friendly fire happening there. So yeah, you can see my core is getting damaged now. So uh, let's press the right keys. Uh, this There's no way to repair that at all. You get repaired as you evolve by going up to the next level. Uh, so that's desperately what you need to do. There goes one of my wheels, so I'm not really running away anytime soon. Alright, I've destroyed one of them. This guy up here is a scout. He has no armaments, but he has just sent out a distress signal. Which will alert more of these annoying dudes with guns. Alright, we're fine. Okay, how's that mining laser? Those can come in useful. They're basically just for mining through walls, but... Um... Yeah, see, I just don't really want any of this crap. Let's put a spare wheel on, refresh my meta. My ion engine's a bit damaged. I could replace that. Uh, there's another scout. Okay, there's a couple of mercenaries down here. Uh, you have a small laser. They're also walking. Yeah. So I could have ducked into one of those little rooms. Excuse me. Those engineers usually have pretty good parts. I'll grab this flight unit on the way through here. But, ooh, a structural scanner. Uh, what was the key again to highlight everything around you? The controls are many and varied. They certainly are. Uh, show path. Show parts in range. Each. Did I just, um... <laughs> They're very complicated, the controls. Takes a lot of getting used to. Uh, those are options. Why am I looking at options? Do 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 do. Examine. Highlight path to cursor. I mean, look at all these options. It's amazing that they're there, but 
to actually... Oh well, never mind. I'll just use the X key, that's fine. Uh, so this is a bit of a dead end I've got myself in here, by the looks of things. I can wait for these guys to come through the door, and then shoot them one at a time, hopefully. And hopefully not get utterly destroyed. Alright, it wasn't a dead end. There is a pest behind me. And these are pretty dangerous. They're flying around, which makes them very fast. I need to turn the mouse off. You, mouse. Oh no, that's all. Huh, interesting. It's still actually tracking the mouse cursor though. And yeah, they have assault rifles, which makes them quite deadly. There goes my ion engine. I'm gonna have to install another one. Because it's bad news if I don't have one of those. Alright. So I think I've destroyed everything on this side of the door. So I might be able to run away a little bit. Oh, straight into trouble. Oh man. Um, I need to install some kind of propulsion because I don't have any. Flight unit. We only have one though and we're quite heavy. The, the weight of stuff does actually count, I think. But I would quite like to just run away from all of this. It's a legit strategy if you can do it, but I think we're most likely going to die here. Treads. Hmm. Treads are quite slow. Get out of my way. Alright. Let me put the treads on insufficient energy. God damn. Yeah, I have no weapons, no energy, no propulsion. Bad news. But the thing is, if I find... Yeah, I have no energy generation. But yeah, if you get into a position like this, you could, technically speaking, find the uh, stairs and still get out of it. Okay, I've turned off my terrain scanner. No, I'm just, I'm toast. <laughs> There's no way out. Alright. Yeah, it's a tough game. I'm gonna restart. Very, very tough. I have not gotten far in this at all. Alright. Uh, so let's try something a bit different. These legs are slower than wheels. Not as slow as treads. Uh, but they're quite tough. I'll take the wheels as backup though. That's a compact wheel. Presumably a bit lighter. Let's give me energy weapons again. So yeah, I think the light ion engine produces the same amount of power as the ion engine, but I think it's just lighter. Essentially. Um, like I don't like taking energy weapons to start off with, because you really need better energy generation than an ion engine. Uh, excuse me, coming through. Okay, um, let's try killing one of these guys. Phew. Oh, come back. Stop. Yeah, it's just... Can I see how damaged they are? Estimated integrity. All of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just not waste time then. Install a small laser. So, I mean, will it tell me how much kind of power it uses? Energy minus eight. So, yeah, I mean, I've got 75 energy. Uh, I'm gaining plus six per turn from the ion engine. So it's a it's a deficit of energy if I shoot that thing, which you don't want, because that happened last time. Alright, that technician just went hostile. I'll probably start shooting at me. He has a data jack. Uh, and he's hovering, which makes him faster than me. 
Uh, the data jack is like a melee weapon, I think. Oh my god, a targeting computer. Well, that's amazing, that gives me a bit of an edge early on. Also got flight units. I'm going to immediately sack off these legs and stall the flight units cause they're so much faster. If I turn them on fast times two. Oh, <laughs> I'm losing energy now. That's not great, actually. Uh, let's see what this terminal does. Maybe it'll spit out a nuclear engine or something. Recycle components. Uh, I don't need to do that now. That'll just give me matter. There's a big pile of it in the corner. Um, so if I turn off one of the fly units. Oh, I'm not that slow, actually. But yeah, just having that one installed and not turned on is a bit of armor, I think. Signal interpreter. I don't know what that does. Robot scans signals differentiate between object sizes. Uh, okay, I guess it tells me what's on the other side of walls. This is a core heat shield. Um, which I can't install. Let's get rid of one of these legs. Might as well. I do have one energy weapon installed. It will produce heat. Let's see what we can do here. These terminals actually have, like every single one of them has a manual command. And the manual commands are global. You can use the same commands every game on every single terminal. I think. Which is quite nice, but uh, I can't remember what the commands are. <laughs> uh, so there's a schematic there for light treads. I don't want that. Analysis of Y45 Defender. I could try it. No, it, they're gonna trace me. They're gonna trace me and I'll get blown up into little pieces. Well, that's gonna happen anyway, but... Oh! Like I said. Alright, hide around the corner. So I have a targeting computer. Does it say what they have? No analysis data. Right, presumably that's what that analysis does. I wonder if that little Skype pop-up is going to pop up on the recording. I don't know. I do not know. I'm using OBS to record this. Um, Alright, flight unit's dead. That's great. So yeah, with the targeting computer I'm still extremely inaccurate. Just managed to destroy one that I wasn't even aiming at. Okay, we're alive. They are not. Heat sinks. Uh, ion engine. Heat sink. Aluminum leg. Yeah. I mean, what I could do is um, I'll grab this ion engine. I could install one of these wheels. Still a compact wheel. Yeah, you can only activate one type of proportion at a time, but that's a decent backup. A small laser there. Well, in the absence of anything else. Uh, some wheels, a structural scanner. This core heat shield. Protects power sources from forced shutdown while overheating 40% of the time. Alright, yeah, I love these um, ASCII portraits that all the items have. It's really nice. Like, every single thing has its own little picture. It's sweet. Okay. Um, gotta take it carefully. Maybe. Oh, see, that's a scout. I mean, it hasn't sent a distress signal yet. I don't know what triggers it. And yeah, can you... Excuse me, can I get past? Alright. Uh, that was a secret door, I think. That's why it was blue. Okay, we're gonna hide around the corner for this bad guy to come and shoot us. 
But yeah, I think that's one of the problems. Well, that goes one of the lasers. One of the problems I've had with this game and being bad at it is uh, lots of stuff isn't explained that well. This bloody scavenger just stole that rifle that I was going to pick up. The laser thing, whatever it was. Uh, yeah, we're still alright for parts. We're not falling apart yet. Just gotta find the stairs. Excuse me. It's uh, a technician that's gonna. Yeah, I, they when they're alerted, they shut down the terminals, which is a bit of a dick move. But what does this do? Insert part. Oh, it's a scanalyzer. So this will give me a schematic for parts. Um, so I'm gonna put an ion engine in it. Uh, analyze ion engine. Schematic downloaded. There we go. So if I survive, I can make a living making ion engines or something. Oh, he broke the floor. Um, yeah, so I don't want to go that way. Oh, they came after me. Oh god, I don't want to go that way. Uh, hobby units and beam cannons. Interesting. Uh, let's see, drop this wheel. We'll grab that. No, drop it. Though. Just put it in my inventory instead of dropping it. Uh, so I've still got this IO engine though, but... Yeah. Let's drop this wheel and this leg and... Replace the gun that just got destroyed. <laughs> hmm. It may have been a mistake to come in here. They seem to be shooting each other though. There's matter all over the floor. Okay, power generation's gone. Let's replace that. Because I definitely need that with a beam cannon. Uh, I don't know. Can I shoot through things with this? I don't think so, but... Pew pew! Okay, still got my guns. May walk out of this. Maybe. <laughs> oh, not without my eye on engine, though. Uh, nope. I'm very dead. No activated weapons. Well, I either bump into them or I run away. I'm a bit faster than them, i got to say. Um, for some reason I can see all those terminals up there. Stop shooting me! Okay, excuse me. I need to get past... Oh god. Alright, there's nothing down there. No! No disassemble! I want to live! Yeah, running away is a valid strategy. It really is. Uh, I can install this flight unit, but I doubt I can run it. Oh, I can, actually. So I'm really fast now, because I have nothing installed. Hell. Oh. But yeah, this is Cogmind. I'm terrible at it, obviously. Uh, it is beatable, <laughs> but it is so difficult. And maybe I'll play some more and hopefully get competent at it. But for now, I'll see you.